Senator John Bozeman says a bill he's co-sponsored could help with truck driver shortages and supply chain challenges. Now, the manager of a locally owned restaurant here in downtown Van Buren says they've been dealing with price increases and supply challenges for more than a year. Especially in a restaurant business where the margins are already so low. We raised our prices probably about six, seven, eight months ago on our menu. And um, we're going to have to do it again just because of the price of the food that we use. The Vault Sports Grill has been open for nearly three years on Main Street in Van Buren. But since the pandemic, manager Aaron Putman says there's been more changes than just prices. We used to do Wing Wednesday here every Wednesday where our wings were a dollar a piece. Uh, for the last six months, we haven't been able to get wings for less than 93 cents a piece. Meats, sugars, uh, bamboo picks, things that just will be there one week and then they won't be there the next. Higher prices aren't just costing businesses more money. You spend more to make less. From gas prices to goods, according to the Labor Department, consumer prices were up 7% in December from a year earlier, the biggest one-year spike in almost 40 years. Yeah, I have a, 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 a medium-sized truck, but it has a 20-gallon tank on it, and what $40 used to get me, 50 still won't this time. Bill Flaspuller is a local musician. He says money's always tight, but now. Yeah, I've been canceled a lot of times just because business is so slow, uh, they can't they can't pay musicians. When it's running 7%, there's no way your wages are, are keeping up with that. So it's not hard to figure out that, you know, there's something wrong. Senator John Bozeman heard from concerned business owners today in Van Buren. We're spending an awful lot of money. So much money is being pumped into the system. That's causing inflation. These are the things that we need to be concentrating on, moving goods and services, getting the supply chain back up and running. Bozeman says Senate Bill 659, the Drive Safe Act, could help with supply challenges and truck driver shortages, which, according to the Trucking Association, there are nearly 4,000 openings right now just in Arkansas. The bill would permanently allow 18-year-olds to drive semi-trucks across state lines. The White House has given the green light to a federal apprenticeship program that's similar to the bill, but it's not law. They've been doing this in the military forever. Uh, the accident rates are no higher. Three Democrat senators are also co-sponsors of the Drive Safe Act, but as of right now, it's not yet made it out of the Senate committees. In Van Buren, Brett Rains, 4029 News.